Hi friends! So I recently went to Salem and I found it absolutely magical. No pun intended. It's a charming, gorgeous place that even if you removed all the touristy, kitschy stuff, it's a beautiful, historic town that I think has made the most out of the horrific things that had once happened there. So of course, I made this my mission to get you to visit Salem for a weekend for less than $300. I'm also giving you a free downloadable guide that has more in-depth information about everything I'm talking about, as well as a two-day itinerary. Here's some tips. Tip number one. Do not go in October. Salem in October is like Walmart on Black Friday. But instead of saving money, you're actually paying more. Don't get trampled. If you can, avoid the entire fall season in Salem. It's a fucking madhouse. Tip number two, tack a Salem weekend trip onto an East Coast vacation. So if you live on the East Coast, it's obviously much easier for you to make your way over to Salem. If you're a West Coaster like me, then it doesn't make sense to fly all the way across the country to visit Salem for a weekend. However, if you're already going to be in New York, Massachusetts, or even Connecticut, then you can just take the bus, which is really affordable, or drive over to Salem and have a really nice, cheap weekend away. Tip number three. Airbnb. If you know me, you know I'm a major proponent to Airbnbs over hotels. They're often much cheaper, and to me, they feel more homey and comfortable than staying in a hotel. I did some research and I found full apartments in Salem that are about $60 to $70 a night, which is really good. Tip number four, cook some meals. Now, the food is really good in Salem, but we're talking budget travel here, so of course, your girl is gonna recommend that you cook some of your own meals so that you can save up some money and spend it on psychic readings because you're in Salem and you have to go see a psychic. Tip number five. Use public transportation to get to Salem and then walk once you're there. So if you haven't been to Boston before, the public transportation is pretty good. I was able to take the Bolt bus from Connecticut to Boston and then I took a train into Salem and it was not that much time. It was very convenient. By the way, my experience taking the bus was great. I think there's a stigma of the Greyhound and Bolt bus to be full of sketchy people, but I found it was all just young people trying to save some money. Just like you and me, friend. Just like you and me. Now Salem is a pretty small area, so you can pretty much walk wherever you need to go within 15, 25 minutes. When I went to Salem, it was during a big snowstorm. Proof that I have not always been this travel savvy. Um, yeah, I'm in Salem. It's snowing, as you can see, and it's beautiful, but I am ill-prepared. And uh, I walked everywhere anyway. I was very stubborn, and I walked everywhere because I didn't want to take an Uber to travel for a mile. So if I can do it in the winter blizzard, you can do it any time of year. Tip number six, do not get gouged for psychic readings. Just for your understanding of how much things should cost, I found that the average price of a psychic reading was about $40 for a 15 minute reading and $75 for a 30 minute reading. Now, if you're just looking to get the experience of seeing a psychic, then a 15 minute reading should be fine. When I was in Salem, I did two separate 15 minute readings on different days and I thought it was fine. It was plenty of time. I, my questions were answered and it was really a fun experience. Tip number seven, if you wanna visit the Witch Museum, do it first for some background on the witch trials. The Witch Museum is a reenactment of the witch trials. So if you don't know too much about the witch trials, the Witch Museum is a great way to get a grasp on everything that happened. As you go and explore Salem, you'll notice a lot of names of people and references to the witch trials. If you don't have that background, you're not really gonna get everything that you can out of your visit. The show at the Witch Museum is $13, which isn't too bad, and it's very informative and entertaining. However, if you do want to save the money, my video next week is going to be all about the witch trials and how that pertains to your visit in Salem. Tip number eight, get lost. Some of the best things to do in Salem are completely free. Wander around the town, check out the graveyards, check out the shops, and just explore and find new things. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you want to see my guide, which has more in-depth information about everything I've discussed, as well as a two-day itinerary, then the link is in the description. If you've already joined the Road Just Traveled community, like let's say you've downloaded the London guide, then it's going to be in the same link that I've already emailed you. If you're interested in hearing more from me, I post new videos every Sunday. Happy traveling!